For the past couple of months, I've been working on a project called Precious Metals, which is looking at the reclamation of silver. In this project, I'm looking into how to use silver in a more sustainable way, either using recycled silver or reclaiming silver from photographic fixer. This month, I've took part in a silversmith course at Margate Adult Education Centre. In the course, I made a ring from Eco Silver, which you might be able to see here. I've got cat fur on me because the cat is literally sat on my lap. I made a copper bangle. I polished some daguerreotype plates from Brenton West that were looking a bit dirty and a bit bashed up. Um, and I'm going to use those to make daguerreotypes next month. I was also given some heirlooms from my mum, such as an old silver plated cup and a silver cake knife that were all oxidised. So I polished them to a really high shine and I'm going to try and make some three-dimensional daguerreotypes which is really exciting. So I'm using these old heirlooms that would otherwise be sat in a box somewhere. Last week I did a workshop with Laura from Gadessa Jewellery and we were inspired by Dr Camilla Hansen's uh, stars that she sent to us over email. Camilla Hansen is an astronomer who's detected silver and palladium in stars. So we were inspired by looking at the stars on a database and figuring out which ones to copy for our design. So we spent quite a few hours in Laura's studio cutting out pieces of copper and um, doing lots of different things like polishing and sanding and filing to make these really dainty necklaces and pendants from copper. Here are some scenes from last week where we were cutting out pieces of jewellery and hammering different shapes. So I hope you find that interesting. It was really amazing to work with Lara. I think she's a super cool jewellery designer um, and she's really inspired by goddesses and does lots of research about her jewellery. <laughs> must be so excruciating. <laughs> So today I repeated the project which I did um, earlier in April where I put a current through uh, my fixative using an anode and a cathode and then put an ampage of about 0.3 milliamps through the fixer and left that to cook for about 30 minutes um, and I'm going to show you the footage from that now and at the end you'll see the results. So I've taken one of the copper pieces of jewellery and I've put it into the fixer and I've done exactly what I did last time using a recipe for This Is Not A Solution um, the recipe by Kat in this book and I've left it for 30 minutes and now I'm hoping that the silver has transferred from the fix to my piece of jewellery so we're going to have a look I'm going to put the piece of jewellery on there and leave it to dry so let's see I don't know if you can see there, but it does look as if it's gone a bit uh, silverish. So I'm probably just going to give it a little rinse under the tap outside and see what that looks like. Thank you very much for joining and if you like this video, please subscribe, like and join my Patreon. My Patreon subscribers are also co-funding this project along with Arts Council England so any funds that you give will really go towards this project and also lots of my other projects which you'll find out more about as time goes on. So thanks very much and see you next month.